In this video, I'm going to show you how to install ChatGPT in the car. Pretty straightforward and easy process, it only takes a couple of minutes. But in order to do that, we need an Android Auto compatible smartphone. And also, we need a car that supports Android Auto. Most of the cars, especially 2018 and newer, will come standard with uh, Android Auto. And even if the car is older, if it hasn't installed an uh, aftermarket receiver that supports Android Auto, then you are in business. So uh, let's uh, uh, get straight to this app and I will show you how to get it. So we're gonna start by uh, opening the uh, Chrome browser and we're gonna copy and paste the link from my video description. You can just copy and then paste in the uh, uh, address bar then. And this is gonna take you to CarGPT. That's the name of the uh, app. And this is how the website looks like. We're going to tap on download APK and then download in in couple of seconds. We should, if you have a good connection, it should uh, just show right up. We'll uh, tap on the uh, freshly downloaded uh, file and we're going to have some uh, trouble here installing because we need to grant permission for Chrome to install a third party app. If you haven't done that, then it's going to... Um, prompt this uh, <clears throat> page here but if you have done that before if you have side loaded app or uh, installed with chrome before it shouldn't take you to this uh, screen so then we tap on install and a couple of more seconds later um, the car gpt should be on the uh, app screen you can either tap open but in my case i went to the menu here so i can show you how uh, the uh, app looks and now Upon, upon opening the apps, we're going to grant some uh, uh, permissions for the microphone soon here. So the way this app will work, it will be uh, based on the voice command. So it will be similar like talking to the uh, Google Assistant. So if you are familiar with that, this should be pretty easy. There are some uh, uh, language selections there, but I'm going to use English. And the next step, we will ask us to uh, log in with a Gmail account but um, I'm just gonna use a throwaway account here. I would not use a good or the best uh, email account just because we don't know yet how uh, safe this uh, app is and that way you will not have access to a uh, sensitive information such as your uh, email address or passwords or whatever. But at this point, I would, uh, I would just make a throwaway account just for, uh, for fun. Now, uh, after we log in, here is going to prompt to update the app. Uh, you can do that as well. In, in this case, we have to grant the permission so uh, ChatGPT, CarGPT will update itself. Uh, similar that we've done before to the uh, Chrome app. So, we'll just allow uh, uh, this app or grant the permissions and you should be good. That way, it can uh, uh, self-update, uh, I should say. And... Uh, it will just take a couple of more seconds. We'll tap on open. And basically, this is the app. Pretty uh, simple uh, interface. It even have a uh, pro version, which allows unlimited image generation, which I will show you in a little bit. But before you start using it, uh, tap on the microphone and uh, grant permission so it can use the microphone for the uh, voice uh, commands, like uh, just uh, I did in this video. Now we're going to connect the uh, phone to the car and uh, depending on your uh, car, some cars have wireless Android Auto so you don't have to use an USB uh, uh, cable so it, it really depends on the car. But anyway, we'll uh, tap on the Android Auto and we'll go to the menu and we'll uh, check for car GPT. Car GPT should show in the uh, app launcher there. So uh, here we go. Let's start and see what it can do for us. I'm driving to San Francisco right now. Are there any cool spots that I can stop by on my way there? Yes. Here are some cool spots that you can stop by on your way to San Francisco. 1. Muir Woods National Monument, a national park with popular coastal redwood trees. 2. Point Reyes National Seashore, a nature reserve with trails. So basically this uh, app will uh, read out loud uh, the uh, answer from our question, which is pretty cool and it can be used while uh, driving as well. So if you want to learn something about a new place that you're going, you can do that uh, while driving. All right, so in my next uh, test, I'm going to ask uh, CarGPT to generate an image with a car dropping down from the clouds. 
generate an image with a card dropping down from the clouds. Now on the top left we're gonna tap on that star icon and of course chat GPT will uh, say that it cannot generate an image but I believe it's using a different uh, AI uh, app I think or something like that because chat GPT on its own cannot generate images so there are two uh, AIs in this app going on there. Now there is another uh, uh, way to interact with chat GPT which is the traditional way uh, by going through the web-based uh, method but I wasn't able to uh, get it to work it's just not um, I was struggling with sending in the uh, message it would uh, take my message in that uh, little text field but I wasn't able to actually uh, get it to uh, answer back to me or basically just send it you know it will show even if it will show send it will be just I'll be just stuck at this uh, uh, screen and will not be able to uh, go from here so as I said this um, uh, app is cool but it still need uh, to be uh, polished a little bit here and there you will find some uh, some uh, bugs and it will not be uh, always smooth but overall it's uh, usable it's a cool uh, experience to have in the car really useful uh, just in case you wanna you know find out something about a place while driving there or, or whatever it's in your mind while uh, while driving that uh, can be a uh, possible these days with this uh, awesome technology so feel free to give it a try I'm gonna have all the uh, details in the video description and hey if you like this video please click like and subscribe for more similar content